Before we really get into tonight's show, there are a couple things I need to get off my chest, aside from a fair amount of phlegm. Uh, I'm not only sick, I'm also sick at heart. Because it has been a hard week of losing iconic British artists. David Bowie's death shocked us on Monday, didn't it? And this morning, the news that Alan Rickman died made me cry. I'm not entirely sure why, but we all know him as Severus Snape, the unlikely broken-hearted hero of the Harry Potter series. But he was also great in Galaxy Quest, Die Hard, Love Actually, Truly Madly Deeply, Sense and Sensibility. He played so many characters who, we the audience could see, lived on the threshold of letting those around him know how he felt, the ways that he was hurt and couldn't reveal. And that is a rare and beautiful gift to share with an audience, and the world is poorer for his loss. Now, in a... Uh... <laughs> also, uh, and in a completely different vein, I'm still upset about a sandwich I got last week. <laughs> Those of you who saw last Thursday's show remember that I tackled the issue of whether or not I got enough tomatoes on my BLT. Jimmy, put up a picture of me with the actual BLT in question. All right. <laughs> Jimmy, enhance. There it is. I see the B. I see the L. Where the hell is the T? Where is my tomato? There isn't any. And a BLT without the T is just a BL. It's bleh. Now, I knew this segment was going to be controversial, but I was shocked by the blowback online. The tweetosphere exploded with hashtag rage. Like, Colbert, there was clearly tomato at the bottom of that BLT. The tomato's on the bottom, dude. And am I going crazy? The tomato is right there. No, you're not going crazy. The world is going crazy if this is considered enough tomato. Because remember my order with extra tomato. And if this counts as extra tomato, then ordering with regular tomato means no tomato at all. And if that's the case, stop the sandwich. I want to get off. And these weren't the only people who thought they saw not only a tomato, but a conspiracy. One conspiracist, or BL truther, as they prefer to be called, wrote, why am I the only one that sees the tomato in hashtag Colbert, hashtag BLT? If it isn't, what the hell is that six millimeter veg under the lettuce? <laughs> there? There, that's six millimeters? Is that what you tell your girlfriend? <laughs> you need to get your tomato ruler checked, buddy. That's a millimeter and a half, tops. It's so thin, you can read the New York Times through it. The headline? Not enough tomato. <laughs> but I will say this. I will admit this much. In my zeal for justice, I may have been a little harsh on the man who made this sandwich. Hello, deli owner Rupert G. But there are no hard feelings between me and Rupert. In fact, today, I ordered another BLT from him. And here it is. Look at that, OK? So we know the system works. <laughs> and if you want a BLT and you're anywhere in the tri-state area, hell, if you're anywhere on the East Coast, all right, this is the guy to go to.